What's poppin' guys and welcome to how to make a password saving variable system in Scratch. Now, about a year ago, or a little bit more than a year ago, I made a tutorial on how to make a YouTube, not a YouTube, my god. I made a tutorial on how to make a username and password system in Scratch. And that was made in Scratch 2.0 and as Scratch 3.0 came out, that outdated that and got a little broken. Anyways. I'm here to show you a new and improved way of doing that saving system. Not an exact saving system, not the exact same as that last one, but definitely something that I think you'll find helpful. So we're going to start, once you make your new project, you're going to delete cat obviously, and I'll just call it saving system, we're going to call it a saving system 2.0 because we're really fancy, right? Now, what we're just going to start off with is a little sprite, right? Let's make this a sprite that this will be our saving button sprite. This will save, clicking this button will save the data. So let's just, let's design a little button right here. Shouldn't take too much time. And we'll just put save on it. Cause you know we're basic. There, there we go, save. Here's our little save button and I'll name it accordingly. All right, fantastic. So here's your save, All right? We'll put that up there. And now you're going to want a load button. This is going to be basically inherently the same. Just switching out the word of the box. Load. And there we go. Put the load button down there and name it accordingly. All right, next, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a basic system. Obviously, when the green flag is clicked, we're going to say uh, show and go to there. Same with this, except this is going to be negative 87. There we go, boom, doesn't matter where you put them now, whenever you start, bam, there you go. Very basic, very, very basic. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit, uh, we're going to actually make a variable. And the variable that we're going to make, we'll call money, for example, right? We'll call it money and I'll put it like right here, right? Very easy. So let's set up a system real fast. Like if you click a little button, right? Maybe a little black button. You click a little black button your money will go up. So I have a little button, set up a little system to have it go there when it's ready. Just like that, bam. And also we'll show money. There you go, easy. Now let's make a little quick system. When you click the button, for example, it changes money by one and also set money to zero when you first start. So when you start clicking the button, money goes up. See, and when you hit the green flag again, resets to zero. That is what we want. So like, how's it gonna save? You shut up, I'll get to it. So go to your save button. And again, this variable can be changed whatever means you want. This is just an example. So now go to your save button. And when the sprite is clicked, it will simply ask if you have an account so do, oh, not a message, my goodness. Click it, it will ask, do you have an account? Then drag out two if statements. Well, actually, yeah. If answer equals no or if answer equals yes. So we'll do this in here so they know what to type. There you go, yes or no. Then if answer equals no, what it's going to do is it's going to ask, what's, uh, no, we'll say like, pick a password and then make sure it says numbers only because this system only accepts numbers. If I could spell only right, 
pick a number and it's a zone name and then what it's going to do is when I make a new thing called password new variable called password and that can be hidden that doesn't matter then what we're going to do is we're going to first of all set password to zero when you hit the green flag and then it's going to set password to your answer right now if they messed up and put a letter in there that is up to them that is their fault that this system doesn't work for them now it'll set your password to your answer so let me show just for, for an example save do you have an account no pick a pa uh, oh sorry do you have an account no pick a password numbers only let's say you do like one two three four bam set your password to one two three four very very easy and then you click the green flag goes back to zero all right awesome now uh, what you're going to do next is you are going to do that and then you're going to uh, broadcast this next little statement called uh, we'll call it save codes there we go save codes and you also want to put that instantly in your yes block right there so if it's no it'll ask you for a password it'll then it'll broadcast and it'll save your codes otherwise if you say yes you have a password then uh, hit save codes but before you do that you're going to want to put what's your password and then it's going to set a quick password to your answer just like that all right and it's going to go save codes now let's set up how the save codes system works so you're going to pull out when you receive save codes you want to make a new list called codes all right and just put this up over here like this bam just like that you're going to show the list codes also when you hit the green flag you want to hide the list of codes so like there all right so now you're going to show the list of codes and here's what's important what you're going to do is you're going to delete all of codes right at right before it shows actually is what i do then you're going to add right go into operators grab join and grab a join button right and you're going to want to put money or whatever you're doing and then a space afterwards and then what you're going to do is you're going to grab out this grab out a multiplication multiply money by your password right and that's what you're going to add to the system so now here's what it looks like start and let's say we get ourselves I don't know how much money should we get let's just say 21 for no reason whatsoever hit save do you have a password no we do not pick a password let's just say I don't know 69420 there we go and then it gives us a little code what the person will do is they'll take this code right they'll take that code they'll control C into a new tab just like that or wherever you'd want to hide the code maybe in like a notepad file or write it down in real life and then there you go so we'll keep that in mind now for the load button what you want to do with the load button is when this sprite is clicked it's going to ask for your code so you're going to type in what's your code and then what it's going to do is it's going to set money to grab a division symbol and it's going to set your money to answer and before you do that I'm sorry I forgot a thing it needs to ask what your password is first so what's your oh, password that's not how you spell password I don't know how to spell what's your password it's going to set password to your answer then it's going to ask what's your code it'll set your answer to your what's your code button because it's the last question that was asked so what's your code that'll be what he, this is and then well, divide, divided by your password so remember how much money we had we had 21 dollars. so we'll, you'd take that code from wherever you had it and then when you hit load it asks for your password our password was 69420 and what's your code you'll paste in the code and then it'll get you your money back now let me explain to you how this system works now this system works based on your money so not on your money based on your password so when you ask for the password and your password is um, 
let's say your password was, right? If it was one, two, three, four, right? If that was your password. And then how much money you had was, I don't know, or let's make this easier. Let's say your password was eight and how much money you had was two, right? So this is your password. This is your money, right? Very easy. What is doing when you're saving? This is what happens when you're saving, hitting the save button. What it's doing is it's taking your password and multiplying it by your money to give you um, your code, which in this case, your code would be 16, right? And then this is how the loading feature works. What it does is it'll put in your password. So first it take your money, right? It take your code, whatever your code was, which in this case it was 16. And then it divide that by your password of eight to give you back your original outcome of money, which was two. That is how this system works. If they mess up their password, it messes up. If they mess up and don't put a letter in there, if they put a letter in their password, it messes it up. If they mess up and put the wrong code in, it will mess it up. So let me show you another quick example. So if we run this and we get some money, right? And it asks, do you have an account? And for example, let's say yes. Then it'll say, what's your password? 69 or 20, by the way. And then bam, there's your code, boom. But, so you're gonna save up a bit of money. Let's say you get a good 30 points or 30 money, whatever you're calling it. And you're calling a save. And when you save, you say, no, don't have a, don't have a password. It'll ask you for password numbers only. One, two, three, four, for example, right? There's your code, okay? So what that is, is 30 multiplied by 1,234. And then when you take this code, well, when you take the code and you restart the game and you click load, it'll ask for your password. And this is where it's important. You'll put in your password is one, two, three, four. And it sets up the little answer to already start dividing one, two, three, four by something. So what's your code? The code I put in that was on there. Bam, to give you your 30 money back, which was that code divided by one, two, three, four, your password. And that is the basis of how this system works. Now let's say you wanted to add other things, right? If you wanted to add other things, just it's right here in the save codes feature. It would then, so example, if you had another thing, like maybe you had XP, it'd be like XP space, and then multiply it by, if you had another duplicate, uh, this would be your, if you had another, if you had another thing set up for that, it'd be XP and then by the password. So it's still, you know, set that stuff up, save, no, oh, save, no, boom. And see, so just set up more stuff like that. And you just have to keep multiple codes inside of one thing. So yes, that is how this system works. I hope this video helped you in your scratch career in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then like it. And if you didn't like it, like it anyways, because this system took me a bit to figure out and you've been waiting for it for a long time, considering like the 1000 views, that's on my other one. And also while you're at it, why not subscribe to my channel if you like my content and want more scratch tutorials that help me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.